Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another random game on the channel. This is called Islands of War. Now, some of you may remember back in the day when I was playing the game Forts, where you basically build up a fort with weapons uh, in real time to kind of try to defeat an enemy who is also building up a fort on, in real time and trying to fire back at you. This game has a similar kind of feel to it, except rather than just having a static fort, you are a floating island fort. And I don't think you're building in real time, rather you're building in an editor and then you battle different stages of enemies and even up to bosses and you can obtain and buy different types of uh, weapons and different island parts as far as I know. I have not actually tried to play it yet, I figured we'd do first reactions on the video here so you guys can see it. And this game is free to download uh, unless you optionally want to donate or pay name your price kind of thing uh, to support the developers. But uh, let's go ahead and jump on in. Let's see what this game is all about. So here is our uh, map. This is actually where we're traveling. We're trying to get up to the top, I guess. We start here. Looks like we had a treasure over here, a shop right here. And then the single exclamation points are enemies. These are super enemies. And then we have the legend over here. I'm just looking at this. Not like I know everything about this game. Uh, and then the bosses are triple exclamation points. And uh, so wormhole, what, can we click on the wormhole? Nope, that's just where we come from, I guess. So I guess we should go to a treasure before we go to a shop. I don't know if we can backtrack or not. Since we only have $10, I'm gonna say let's go for a treasure. And I don't know if we have to, oh, we just get loot. Okay, so we get some, oh, do we have to choose? We have to either get silt or money. See, not having built anything yet, I don't know how valuable these things are. So I'm gonna go for silt first, since I don't think we're gonna be going to a shop just yet. Can we go back here? Nope. So we've chosen our path now, and I'm glad I chose this path because we have three just normal enemy options. So I'm gonna go to Edit Island just to see what do we have? Like, what's at our disposal here? All right, so it looks like this is the silt that I've gotten. A basic building block. It adds health and mass to our island. This is sand. It's a little bit heavier, so it looks like we actually have to manage the weight distribution of our island. This is 10 kilograms versus 8 kilograms. And then this is dirt, which is 12 kilograms. And it looks like we have, I think this is a thruster right here. I'm assuming that this is a cannon and this is our power core. So once this gets destroyed, our island falls out of the sky. We can use our thruster to uh, vary our height during battle. And then obviously we use our cannon to fire. So it looks like we don't have any more building options really other than adding this silt there. But I'm gonna save that for now since I don't know what I'm doing yet. Let's go into battle with our first enemy and see what this is all about. All right, here we are. Uh, Looks like W, W makes me, oh, it's just like a singular boost. Oh, that's interesting. So I don't actually control, oh, oh, I should probably start shooting, huh? There we go. So I don't actually control whether the thrust is on or off. I just press the button to, this guy is, has way more, this guy has way more uh, d d blocks than I do. How am I supposed to compete with this? Eh. This is actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, there's a recharge. You can see a recharge counter down on them too. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that was bad. Okay, so I might lose this one. He's getting really close to my power core now and I am not getting very close to his. So yeah, now I'm starting to understand the different values. Oh man, how am I supposed to get his core though? His core is blocked by like a bunch of different blocks here. This is way more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, oh, there we go. That was a good one. Okay, all right. I could definitely see the unique strategies that can be, ooh. Ooh, that's good to know. Different blocks with their HP. Okay, that makes more sense now. The blocks can take more or less hits. All right. He's... I'm winning, technically. According to the thing. Ooh. Ooh, we hit the thruster. I wonder what happens if we hit the thrusters. Do they just keep falling and do you win? Or do you have to, like, fall with them? All right. Ooh, don't hit the court. Come on. Ooh, that's interesting. I hit the second one, not the first one. I really want to take out his... Well, he has two thrusters, though, so if I take out one, that's probably not going to help me that much. <gasps> Go up. All right, this is... I got to admit, this is a really unique fighting strategy when it comes to base battling. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're getting to his core. His core has one block in between it. We're kind of even now on our core exposure. I like this. 
Danger, high altitude. What does that mean? What happens if we go to high altitude? Look, we're both just dropping that. Oh, okay. All right, so far this game is like actually way more interesting strategically than I expected. So I'm having a lot of fun with this right now, trying to just learn what kind of strategy is optimal here. All right, he's at 53%. I guess if I just keep hitting him, I could probably take him out before I take out his core. If I could just get him down to 0%, that was close. All right, come on. Yes, his core is now exposed. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, I took out his thruster, but I missed his core. All right. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh no. Okay. I thought he was going to expose my core there for a second. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. This is tough. Because you don't know when he's going to thrust versus when you're thrusting. So it's really tough to predict where he's going to be after you shoot. Go, go, go. Get, 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 get it. Oh, all right. One more hit to his core, I think, should do it. Oh. Go. Come on. Nope, nope, not letting you get that one. Oh, if he took my cannon out, what would I do? My cannon is completely exposed now. Get it? Oh, just one more hit. Get it? Oh, it takes two more hits. Okay. So the cores, all right, that makes me feel more comfortable because now I know that my core is going to take three hits, but I don't know how many hits my cannon is going to take is the problem. All right, come on. I got my shot loaded. Are you kidding me? All right, this is it. This is it. There it is. Core exploded and we won the battle. Okay, so that gives us a lot. Whoa. All right, we got a new cannon. We got two more. Uh, sh a shaft gun. That doesn't even that doesn't sound right. We got $7, a shaft gun, two basic Floatrons. I don't know what adding more does. Does it make you go up and down faster or maybe do you have more control? Oh, no, we have to choose two of them. All right, I'm definitely choosing a cannon. And I think the benefit of having more Floatrons is if one goes down, you have a backup. But I kind of also want more money. I have 20. You know what? I'm going to choose I'm going to choose building building blocks for now until we figure out what money is going to do for us. Because right now, I don't think we have a shop coming up. So it might be better to just have parts. Let's return to map. OK, let's edit our island. We're going to add this new Floatron as they call it. Oh, blocks, weapons. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is our standard cannon. If I has a standard cannonball, it only has one HP. So if you hit it, we'll probably instantly get destroyed. Unless does it also take on the HP of the block that it's in. All right, so damage is two. Damage of this one is one. Fires a spread of cannonballs in a small angle. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to expand the bottom. We're going to put sand there and there and then we're gonna put this wait row must not be split by space okay we're gonna put that one there and that's where we're gonna put our shaft gun just like that so now the shaft gun should spread out a couple of pellets that only do one damage whereas this cannon does two damage all right so let's see what else do we have modules warp drive two hp most important part of your island we have the basic floatron one hp Keeps your island afloat. So let's go ahead and just put another Floatron right there. And we'll put another one right there. Now I'm assuming that just gives us more reliable floating capabilities in case one of those gets destroyed. Is there a buildings? We can get buildings. All right, let's return to the map. See what we got ahead of us. All right, so now we can go in either one of these. Oh, we can actually plan out our whole course. And there's the end right there. So it looks like we have a boss battle right at the end. So let's try to map out where do we want to go? A question mark. Question mark sounds interesting. Let's try to make our way towards the question mark. So we have to go in this direction. All right, on to the next enemy. Okay, he's got a cannon facing the wrong way. Why is his cannon facing the wrong way? Does it not matter? Oh, so now I have one and two for weapons. I'm going to press both at the same time. Oh, look at that. This is feeling way better. So I don't think I have more thrust. Oh, no, I do. My cooldown is less. Each one fires individually, so I have way more control over my thrust now. So that's actually good to know. That's the advantage. That is the advantage of having more. Oh, look at this. We are golden now. Look at that. What is this? What is, what is that material? That must... Whoa! Did you see that? Apparently, if you fire off the screen, it comes back. Can I hit myself then? Or is that just him? 
Well, that adds for a whole new strategy because I was thinking that this is going to be the front that is exposed to the enemy, but that is no longer the case, as you can see. Oh, did I just... <laughs> I took out his only source of thrust. All right, so we have dirt, we have sand. Sand is heavier than dirt, I think. I'm going to choose money and dirt. All right, so now one step further onto the question mark. I really want to know what the... What are these? What is that? No! Oh, I don't feel good about this. I do not feel good about this one. Oh, our bullets can hit each other and collide. That's cool. All right, and go. Ooh, that was bad. I might lose this battle, guys. I might lose this battle. I just really have to make sure that I kind of get him in passing if I can. Oh, that was bad. That wasn't a good shot. All right. Wait till I'm reloaded. All right. Up, up, up. That way he can't shoot me. I have to go by really, really fast and then shoot. That's my strategy right now. To basically keep passing him up and down and shoot as I pass him. Ready? Oh. Okay. Wait till I recharge. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, there's his core. I didn't realize his core is already exposed. Exposed. It'll be exposed soon enough. No! Oh, that was so lucky. Did you see what just happened there? It'll be exposed soon enough. No! He was about to take out my cannon, but I shot, destroying his bullet that was going to take me out, continuing on, and then uh, destroying his core. That was epic. Okay, I'm going to choose... Um, Money and compressed dirt sounds more powerful to me than just dirt. Okay, should we go to the exclamation point or should we build first? I'm gonna edit island first, just in case the exclamation point is like a boss battle of sorts. All right, so let's put some more protection here. This is HP 3. Okay, good to know. HP 3 for that. HP 3 for this too, but it weighs less. All right, I'm gonna put some back here. We're gonna protect this side of us now. We also got sand, which is HP 2. So let's protect uh here and i'm just building a block basically all right so we have decent protection on the front and back i'm just a little bit worried is it is it a danger that the top is exposed or not since most of the shots go horizontally i don't know if there's other weapons that i'm unaware of that might be able to shoot at an angle all right return to map let's see what this question mark is a forge we got a forge i don't know what a forge does all right i'm going to i'm gonna take away this this and this we're gonna redistribute some stuff and i'm gonna put three things into the forge and just see what that means all right that goes there that goes there that goes there what is this gonna make it cost me nine dollars forge i have made gravel which has four hp which is twice as much as most of this stuff i don't know if that was worth it I really don't think that was worth it because I put in three, four, five, six, seven HP, three blocks with seven HP total to get a gravel, which is only four HP total. Although it's only 15 kilograms, so it has the benefit of packing more HP into less weight, but I really don't think that was worth it because now I can only put one block protection, whereas before I could put three. Okay, it looks like the topmost row has to be the widest, so I have to put this up here. All right, let's continue on our way. I don't know if this is end game or if it's just like level one. So this time we're going to go to the shop because we haven't been to a shop yet. All right, next enemy. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Um, okay, this shouldn't be too hard. I can probably just destroy his... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I could probably just detach that gun without too much of an issue. Like one more hit to this bar here and that gun is gone but he's also shooting to the right no he's shooting both ways he shoots to the right and the left well there goes all that he's he's done he's done i just took out his thruster <laughs> all right let's get uh i kind of i don't really know if i want money i'm gonna take some money because we're heading towards a shop and i'm gonna take some uh compressed dirt as well all right so it's like we got one more enemy and then we can check out to see what the shop is all about i'm really curious what the boss battle is gonna be all what is this what are the green things? Okay. Uh, eh. I don't even see what I hit. All right. I, I hit near his core, though, so that's good. I'm actually kind of heavy now, aren't I? Oh, ooh, ooh, he's doing good. 
He's got two of those things, two of those shaft guns. All right, let's go down. Dang, his shaft guns are effective. What is this armor stuff? Why does he have extra armor? That's not fair. Go, 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 go. All right. What? I don't quite know what happened there. I don't know why I won that. I thought I just hit his cannon and whatever. Are the green things explosive? Well, I'm not complaining. Let's go check out the shop. What's the shop all about? Ooh, ooh, what is this? Fires a burst of cannonballs. How is that different than this? Fires a spread of cannonballs. Spread five, spread 10? Degrees, is that degrees? All right, how much do I, I have 43. Is there more to the shop? No, there is not. Why are there two different shaft guns with two different prices that look identical? That's interesting. The price, is the price randomly generated? Yeah, we have dirt here that's two different prices as well. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I'm gonna buy one of these and I guess I'll buy another shaft gun. Now let's go to our weapons. So we have this thing. I'm just gonna put that right there. Oh, it switches automatically depending on which side you put your gun on. Okay, that answers that question. All right, so now I can have one facing that way and I have three facing this way. So we're gonna primarily have an attack from one direction, but then we'll be able to sneak in uh, to the backside by firing in the other direction as well. So this is gonna be interesting. So hopefully this is gonna dramatically help us having all this extra firepower because we have our first, I think, yes, we've only fought level one en enemies so far. This is our first super enemy. So let's see how this goes. I mean, that last enemy felt like a super enemy to me, okay. I have one, two, and three for my weapons. All right. Ooh, I felt like I did, I got a lot of hits, but he's strong. He is very strong. Oh, I see now. The three cannons is one, two, three, which actually makes it difficult to do the passing shots that I was doing previously. All right, I took out one of his guns, so that's good. Ooh, ooh, that was good. His core's right there. I think I got this. I got this, like, right now. Oh, that was... <laughs> I missed every single bullet. <laughs> that was terrible. All right, come on. Come on back. I got gotcha. you. No, I don't. Yes, I do. A little bit. Just a little bit. Thanks to those cannons. All right, and... Oh, bad estimate. Bad estimate. Ooh, ooh, we're taking some hits. He is heavily damaged, though. I think I got him. Ooh, one more hit. One more hit. There it is. There it is. This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. I feel like I'm doing okay. I thought I was gonna get... thought I was gonna get owned at first, but now we're doing really good. All right, definitely shaft gun. I don't see any uh, shops in between here and there, so I'm just gonna go shaft gun and silt. Oh, three. I can choose three. All right, shaft gun and a bunch of silt. We have the boss battle coming up, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Fire, 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 fire. Why is this a boss fight? Oh, he is completely in the other direction. I don't understand why this is a boss fight, though. He doesn't look that hard. All right. Eh. Okay, he's got a lot of firepower. I may have changed. I, I may have been wrong about the difficulty of this. All right, coming down. Where is, where is he? Oh, there he is. All right, and... There goes his thrust. That was the boss battle? Oh, come on. Four loot. So this must not be the end. There has to be more levels. Compressed dirt, cannon. You know what, let's go with some money and some more dirt. All right, should I go through the hole or should I edit first? I'm gonna edit first. All right, gonna put some sand right there. Gonna just expand this bottom layer. There we go. And I'm gonna take this new weapon and I'm gonna have it face this direction. And you know what? I'm actually going to take this thruster. This thrusters move. Oh, I have a bunch of thrusters. I don't really think I need that many. I guess I'll put some more down there. That way we're going to have a little bit more protection for our cannons. All right, return to map. Let's see. Does the wormhole take us to a new area or did we finish the game? I have no idea how big this game is. I know it's, just, it's a free game that tends to be pretty short. Let's see what happens when we go through here. Whoa. Okay. All right, let's do question mark. Always got to do the question mark. It could be anything. Oh, I may regret this. I may have some re- Whoa, 
that answers my question about guns firing at angles. He's no, my core is so done right now. I need to protect the top of my core. Oh no, I am so done. <laughs> okay, there's a lot more. There's a lot more to this game than I expected. There's definitely a lot more to this game than I expected and I think I'm gonna die very soon. We need to fortify the top of this ship. Oh, he is got- Oh, his core is exposed. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get the core. Get the core, please. Get the core. Oh, we're so close. Oh, come on. Get it before he fires. Come on. Get it? Yes. Ho, ho. 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 What is this? Grass. Why grass? I want to know what grass is, so I'm taking it. Grass. Money. Dirt. Okay, I want one of those new guns. Four HP. Grass is actually really, really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take away this entire bottom row here. Um, we are going to make an entirely new top row because we need to really fortify our core now. There we go. We're putting the grass right on top of the core, and we're just gonna add some stuff down below here. Okay, so I think we're a little bit more fortified now. I think we're feeling a little bit better. Um, oh, we need to add more thrusters. I forgot about the thrusters. There we go. I think that's gonna work. That was just... Oh, that was a, a super enemy. So that's a little bit understandable. Let's go for the question mark. Okay, what? I don't even know if this guy's a super... What are those purple blocks? What are those missiles? There's like missile-shaped things. Oh, no! This game just keeps... Throwing hardballs at me. Oh, and he's got good... He's got good timing, but I just took out half his missiles. So what... Okay, but he's hes going in towards my guns now. He's, he's exposed my guns. All right, there we go. Our, our left-facing guns really helped us there. Oh, this is new. Shotgun's new. Advanced Flotron is also new. Guys, this game... I, I wasn't too sure about this game when I first saw it, but I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this. I like discovering all these new pieces and seeing how they're going to add to my strategy here. All right, shotgun. Fires a spread of cannonballs in a wide angle. So this is, uh... Five shots, as opposed to... The three shots... Of the other two, uh, burst weapons. And the angle is 20 degrees, which is twice as much as the shaft gun. Okay, cool, I like this. The damage is also... One. I'm gonna put this guy right inside the grass. Alright, advanced Floatron. Keeps your island afloat. Let's compare this to the normal one. Alright, so it's twice as heavy, twice as much thrust, twice as much health, same cooldown. Let's put it on there. All right, here's our new island. I think we're pretty well fortified. All right, what do we got up next? All super enemies. We want super enemy towards treasure or super enemy towards money. I'm gonna go towards treasure because then we don't have to spend money on it. Although then we do at the cost of choice. We have a limited choice. You know what? Let's go here. We'll make that decision later. We'll make that decision later. What is going on now? That's a lot of heavy fortifications. We're getting attacked from the... We're getting attacked from all sides. We are getting attacked from all sides. Oh no, just, just, let's just avoid that, please. Avoid all this stuff. Oh, that missile just missed me. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Oh, I forgot number four. Let's check out number four. Oh, I want some of those missiles, man. Give me some of those missiles. Oh man, I need to really fortify the top even more, I think. I need to keep this directly into the center. I am not doing a good job at finding... Why? Alright, I don't know why that guy died, but uh, once again, not complaining. We got new stuff though, clay and mortar. You know what, let's go. Let's go get the treasure. We're gonna get another treasure. What are we gonna get? Machine gun? That's not what I, I thought that was the missile. Let's go with the machine gun. Let's trash this entire thing. And we're just gonna build it from scratch. All right, so here's our new island design. We have our core directly in the middle, protected by the most amount of stuff. Uh, we have all of our weapons surrounding the core, and we got all of our thrusters at the bottom. Ooh, I should have added some to the right side here. I'm gonna add a little bit of protection there. All right, and then I've fortified with some of the stronger clay here and at the uh, direct line to my cores on either side. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be a much more defensive island than we previously had. All right. Oh, we just have a, a level one enemy. This is going to be easy, I think. I know, it looks 
Okay, I guess. I still gotta figure out why were some of those guys being destroyed, even though... Eh, even though we hadn't destroyed their core, and I thought that they still had thrusters left. Whoa! Alright, that was the machine gun, that last shot there. One. Two, three, four, five, six. We have a lot of buttons to press. I wish I could just put it all into one button, because I kind of don't want to manage it individually, and I think we might be able to do that. All right. Come on. Danger, low altitude. All right, I think... I think I'm understanding what's happening. I think I'm understanding why I'm destroying them before I think I'm going to. And I think that when your island gets heavier, you, you have a higher minimum level of thrusters that you need. So if you destroy too many thrusters, even though you have some left, you might still fall. All right, so what do we got? Basic armor. All right, let's go with some basic armor and some dirt. All right, now we got some extra protection on that side. Oh, we have another gun here. I didn't realize that we had. Guess I'll put that over here. All right, armor, what does this do? Increase health for your island. Health to HP. So I'm assuming that just gives extra health to whatever block I put it on. And they can only be on blocks that don't already have something on it. So let's give some extra health to this. That way they won't get into our thrusters quite as easily. I'm just realizing in our basic stats here, we have something that we have not been exposed to yet, which is energy generation, energy generation and energy capacity. So that must be where buildings come into play. All right, let's advance on uh, to... Uh, I guess let's go up here and see what the shop is going to have to offer. All right, what are these different blocks, though? Those are new. This is a new weapon. Whoa! Okay, those must do, like, 0.5 damage or something, because... Yeah, those must just do not a lot of damage, because I'm not seeing a lot going on when he hits me. Yeah, nothing's happening when he hits me. What's the deal with that? All right, this, this is not difficult. Yeah, this is not difficult at all. We're so close. Come on. A couple more hits. All right, he still has enough thrust, apparently. With just the one thruster. There goes his core. Ooh, advanced armor. Let's get some advanced armor. And let's go to the shop and see what we can do here. Oh, what is this? Basic battery stores energy for your island. But why do we need energy? That's the question. Quick shoot. Another one. Fires high velocity cannonball. All right, let's get the quick shoot. Like nothing I have consumes energy, but just in case, I'm just going to buy one. And I'm just going to keep it at that. We're going to save our money, see if anything else happens. All right, a couple ways to the second boss here. Let's see what happens. All right, we got some purple things. Got some yellow things green thing. Well, we know what the yellow and green are, at least. All right, there we go. There we go. That was a good hit. All right. I feel pretty well fortified to be... Oh, there we go. We just took out his whole bottom half, getting rid of all of his thrust. Woo! I'm gonna take some gravel and... Um, money. I think we're really good on weapons right now. I'm having trouble managing all these buttons, to be honest. So let's just, uh, let's just not take any weapons for now. All right, next enemy. What is this? What is this? Oh, well, that was simple. He has a shield. Oh, that must be a building. I think we've seen our first building now. So that building must be a shield generator. I'm wondering if it can regenerate, but we'll never find out because we just destroyed it. All right. He's breaking in, actually, pretty effectively right over here. Oh, did we just... We took out his thrusters. He's done. He's done. Oh, a laser. Let's put a laser on our island for the boss. Fill in the space down below, and we're going to take... Ooh, we have a lot more things than I thought we did. We have a laser... I'm going to put right behind the gravel. We have another machine gun. I'm just going to put it at the top. Might as well just have more firepower, to be honest. Those things get grouped in with the other ones of their kind anyway. But now we have like nine buttons for the boss here. Okay, boss battle. Here we go. Okay, he has a shield. I'm just going to fire as soon as I can. 
All right, we broke through. The shields are like a one hit, it looks like. Which uh, is not very impressive to me. Oh, he just did massive, massive damage. What are these? What are these things? Those must be energy? No, that's an energy producer. I don't know what the- Oh, no, my core is exposed. I'm scared. One of my weapons was destroyed completely. One of my weapon categories. Oh, we got- Did we get the core? I guess we got the core. Huh. I'm not paying enough attention. A flare. Why? What is the purpose of a flare? I guess we'll take it and find out. Flare, gravel, money, uh, sand. All right, edit island. Let's see what this new item is all about. Flare, deploys flares to destroy project. Oh, that's the point. So that's why they weren't doing damage to me when that guy was doing that. So that is actually a defensive thing. I guess we can teleport over or go through the wormhole over into the next area, which things are just probably going to get bigger and more intense. And we're going to be probably exposed to buildings at some point soon. Here's our new uh, path tree. So I'm going to end the episode here, though. Let me know what you guys thought of this. I thought this was going to be a one-off episode. I honestly thought it was going to be a really short experience, but uh, there's stuff that we haven't discovered in the game yet. So if you liked this episode, let me know right now. Do you want to see me do another one? Do you want to see me go further? And remember, there's a link down in the description. You can try out the game for yourself. It's completely free. If you do try it out, let me know down in the comments below uh, how far you've gotten. I guess this is stage three for me. It doesn't actually tell me anywhere, though. But if you liked this episode, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future episodes like these. I try to release videos every single day. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I will see you next time. Bye.